In our last checkpoint on carbonyl compounds, we will cover the last distinguishing test for carbonyl compounds, and we are actually revisiting an old reaction here. Now, if you recall from alcohols, we were able to distinguish a special group of alcohols known as the methyl alcohols using what we call the iodoform reaction. We also mentioned that the same reaction can be used to distinguish methyl ketones, which are simply ketones where one of the R groups is a methyl group. Now, let's revisit this reaction again. Now, remember with methyl alcohols, the first step of the re reaction is an oxidation to the methyl ketones. Of course, with methyl ketones themselves, we are able to omit this step. The methyl ketone is subsequently iodinated three times to form the good living group Ci3. It's again a good living group because the electronegative iodine atoms withdraw electron density. Subsequently, nucleophilic acyl substitution occurs and the NaOH takes place, attacks to form the carboxylate as well as triiodomethane as a byproduct. Triiodomethane forms as distinct yellow crystals and this enables the iodoform reaction to be used as a qualitative test for the presence of methyl ketones. Now again, you will encounter this reaction most commonly in organic elucidation questions, and therefore it's remember to, important to remember that only methyl alcohols and methyl ketones will produce a positive test, i.e. you observe yellow precipitates. Well, this is it. <laughs> You're at the end of carbonyl compounds. Do take a moment to revise all the different reactions about these compounds that you have learned. It may be useful if you decide to draw a reaction summary map.